What's up guys, this is Busy Man here and I cannot wait for my book to come out. I'm just waiting for my copyright serial number so I can print it on my book and it, and it will be my property, not anyone else's. Ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to make games and I was a huge FPS guy and the FPS genre was the first genre that got me into gaming. And I still play that genre to this day because I love it and I'm sure you guys know it because, you know, I post a lot of videos first person shooters. I wish my book was a game because it was supposed to be one, but unfortunately I don't know anyone that has a group of people that can program and stuff and generally I think first person shooters are hard to develop because usually indie developers they're always making like 2D platformers and all that stuff. I don't know. I'm not sure. But this is but that is still cool, you know. I've always liked poetry and story. It's a good combination to draw my game, I guess. Anyways, I just want to give you guys some more information about the book just to see if you guys are going to like it or not. First information is about Earth. Earth does take place in this story, but it's, in it's extinct from natural disasters. And the human race discovered a new planet which is reminiscent to Earth, and that's where they will rebuild their city pretty much. And that's going to be the main setting of the story. The protagonist is Angela Madison. I'll give you guys some of her influences. One is from Major Motoko from Ghost in the Shell. I've always thought she was a badass and I wanted Angie to be like that. Angie, she isn't 100% human too, but she's not a full manufactured cyborg like Motoko. Angie was born pure, pure human, that's all I can say. She doesn't look like her, and she isn't so dependent on sex appeal. I've always thought sex appeal was just a cheesy design for female characters, but I guess the Japanese people love it. I don't know. Next character is Neo from the original Matrix. I've always liked how Neo was just a normal guy right from the beginning of the movie, excluding his hacker lifestyle, but later on in the movie, you realize he was the one, a dude with supernatural powers, basically. That's what An Angie will be. Well, somewhat like that. So, oh yeah. This is the first part of the trilogy. It will end with a cliffhanger. And I'm not a big fan of cl cliffhangers. But this one isn't so bad. I personally think the ending is just great, to be truthfully honest. I wrote it in a very creepy feel, if that makes sense. And I just like how it flows, basically. You, you just gotta read it. Alright. There are about 27 to 28 chapters. It's no more than 30. There are 11 missions, which are considered chapters, too. And these 11 levels are the original 11 missions that are supposed to be in the game. But they've been modified to make it more book-friendly, if you would say so. Sorrow was supposed to be like a horde shooter. You're fighting a good amount of enemies with allies by your side or going solo. And there are a lot of firefight scenes, too. I had to tone it down. It does kind of ruin the immersions from a book perspective if you're reading it. And and even if it takes in like a different location or place, it still gets pretty redundant if I'm going to have to like write it down to basically describe you how the fight is going on and such. If it was in the game, it would be fine because one of the best parts of a first person shooter is the shooting part, obviously. Anyways, that's pretty much... For all the information I have about my book, and I'll keep you guys updated in future videos, I guess. Peace.